I wanted to show you guys how to um, adjust your uh, fuel pressure regulator for the uh, Weber, Weber carb uh, for several days now, maybe a little bit longer. And I'd start the engine, uh, whether it's idling or driving or whatever, uh, it would start to kind of start to sputter a little bit. Um, kind of like it was gasping, gasping, for, the engine was gasping for, um, for fuel. And so I turned the engine on and happened to glance at the uh, fuel pressure regulator and the PSI was between the one and the two. And that, that ended up being the, the issue. And I got it. The maximum you want to go for the Weber is the three PSI. Any higher than that, and you'll likely uh, flood your carb. Um, so the way you adjust this is have your engine running and uh, use a wrench. This is a... Um, seven eighths and uh like like most other things you you turn it counterclockwise to to loosen it but you want to use one of your hands to get a hold of the regulator itself and brace brace it so it doesn't move because this the bracket that it's on isn't uh while it is on there really good it's also you know you can see how much the uh, regulator is moving so you want to brace it with one of your hands as as you're loosening it, and you don't need to loosen loosen it much. Once you get it loose, you want to use. Um, I can get this in uh, view or focus. Um, it's an Allen wrench. Uh, it's uh, one quarter, but you want to insert it and turn it uh, clockwise as, as you're tightening it you'll you'll see the pressure the PSI start to go up and once you get it where you want it where it's good for you where your your engines no longer sputtering uh, that's where you want to stop it should be good but again don't go past three PSI that's too much and then um, grab your wrench and uh, tighten the, the nut really snug and that, that's that should be it he should be good to go i'm gonna turn the engine on real quick so you can see where it's at As you saw, the uh, regulator is uh, right at 3 psi, or just shy of it. It's literally right on it. But uh, and um, for this engine, that's, that's that's that was ended up being perfect. Once I got to that uh, that point, the engine stopped sputtering. It's getting the the carb is getting the right amount of fuel and all that. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's a fairly easy fix. And uh, I'll see you.